Yeah, Harrison, thanks for doing this. I'm just wondering if you could just give us an overview of everything that you've seen since Monday with your former teammate uh, going to the hospital and everything that's happening and what Harrison's Playmakers is is doing with the, to help the situation. Yeah, so I was um, actually at the Timberwolves game Monday night. I brought one of our new teammates, Shelton, uh, and his fiance to the game. And uh, once I saw the news, I think uh, my fiance saw it first. Uh, immediately, you know, we, we left the game obviously early and um, was just refreshing Twitter every second, reading every tweet out there, just waiting to hear what's going on and, and what can what can happen. Um, sent out a, a, a bunch of text messages to almost all my, my my teammates I could over there. I got a few responses right then and there um, once they kind of had got off the field, you know, probably within that hour um, after the, the initial hit. And just was in a lot of communication, trying to rally the guys um, without, sh you know, sharing things that um, maybe hasn't been out there yet. Uh, but the scene was was very hard to see. Um, so for all the teammates that were rallied around them there, um, it was a, a very hard scene to see. You can try to picture it as, as best as you can, but it was a, a very bad scene. And uh so obviously been praying, got on, got on my knees praying and trying to figure out what, you know, what can you do? There's really nothing to do other than try to reach out to everyone you can and, and make sure they know that they're loved and, and, and bring as much support as you can. Um, you know, I stayed up until they landed and my teammates were updating me and some of the staff that I'm great friends with in the training room uh, once they landed uh, back in Buffalo for the, those who decided to take the team trip back. Um, once I, I heard that they were going to try to get some sleep, I tried to get some sleep myself, woke up on a Tuesday, had heard that there was a, you know, a little more positive than there was negative and uh, wanted to do something. So I was on the phone all day, you know, in between my body work and massages and stuff, uh, calling different people at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Obviously, they're not sharing anything or won't give me um, anything, not not to get info about DeMar, but I just wanted to, to, to donate food for those so they didn't have to you know worry about that. And finally, um, through the, the head athletic trainer at the Buffalo Bills gave me a, a picture of uh, one of the nurses on staff that could help. And so I, I called her and um, she recommended a few of the places that catered there. So I, I, I found a sandwich shop and ordered food and um, chips and drinks and chips and uh, sandwiches, everything, I, salads, whatever, um, for all the doctors, nurses on the ICU ER floor, uh, the members of the Marsh family that were there, the training staff of the Bills. Um, and uh, they were able to, to deliver that for dinner last night. I, I have a buffet of Chipotle stuff coming tonight for dinner um, for, again, all the doctors and nurses. on. The, I think there's, you know, 50 or so. And, uh, you know, just wanted to try to do something. My foundation, Harrison's Playmakers, you know, the children that I work with have just you know bigger hearts than any of us. And they wanted to find ways to help out, too. You know, I donated to his fund, um, but some parents and some of the kids were asking me, what else can we do um, as Playmakers? So I opened a little um, branch of, of my foundation that uh, they could support and not sure how I'm going to do it or what we're going to do with it. But we're you know, we were collecting some some funds as well through the Playmakers, you know, just them. Um, and to, to do an event in DeMar's honor and what hopefully will be a celebration of his life and his, his recovery um, in the months to come. But they were just asking for an outlet of, of what else they could do. And so I wanted to provide one for them. Uh, Harrison, uh, being around the NFL as, as reporters, we get a, a pretty good idea of what the brotherhood is like for players. But can you explain it to, to like fans, what that brotherhood is really like? And when one of yours goes down like that, how you rally? Yeah, you know, I'm very close to the situation is DeMar was close to my locker and um, when I put my time in Buffalo and helped out with my foundation a little bit, too, because of his giving nature. Um, but I would have been surprised at how many people who have zero ties and zero connection to him himself or to Buffalo and how much they're impacted. And because it is we, we are a brotherhood. And I think the NFLPA has done a great job providing resources for those who um, have questions and talking about uh, a calls for all members of our um, union and their their spouses and families to talk through the situation um, because I'm sure every single significant other of a player has you know said to that player this could have been you um, and it so it touches really really hard for us we are a you know we, we compete like hell when we're out there against each other but that is a brother that I look across when I look across the line of scrimmage and so um, I, I'm loving all the support and prayers I believe in the power of prayer heavily and uh, I, I believe that that's helping move the needle. 
Harrison, how, how does it feel to go back to work today and, and sort of knowing you, there's a ramp up into the intensity of the playoffs coming next week with all this kind of hanging around? You know, if I can be honest with you, I think uh, that's kind of been on the back burner for me personally. Um, I still watch the film that I normally do on Tuesday nights and um, have been attentive in meetings as I would normally on a Wednesday. Uh, but I would just say more overall morale, I feel like, you know, is, is unsettled until I get more positive news. And I know that that's definitely probably the feeling for those players in Buffalo and Cincinnati as well who had to witness it firsthand. Um, but, yeah, you're right. You know, that there's as of right now, there's still games scheduled for this weekend. And um, sometimes getting back to work and focusing on other things can help. And so when we were in meeting going over the Bears pers personnel and, and, and tendencies, there were times that I I, want, I felt more like a, a normal day because I was doing things. So I um, hope that answers.